you've been lied to by medicine and it's not your fault. Picture yourself, surrounded by doctors, these aren't your typical practitioners though, these doctors follow a different approach, one where food, not pharmaceuticals, is the primary treatment. Imagine the future where more of the medical field embraces this philosophy but today, many still rely on drugs as the solution to illness. You might wonder who is really at fault here, it's not just your doctor, it's the entire system. Big pharma and the big food industry heavily influence today's healthcare. But think about this. If you ask someone in the medical field what truly creates health, what would they say? Do drugs cure illness or merely mask symptoms? Unfortunately, the healthcare system often fails to address these questions, and doctors are pushed to specialize in narrow fields, losing sight of the whole body's intricate connection. Consider this for a moment. How much training do doctors get in nutrition during medical school? It's almost non-existent just a few hours covering biochemistry. Yet the very nutrients that fuel your body's biochemistry are missing from their education. It's no surprise that many doctors have dismissive views on nutrition. Now let's dive into nine common lies you've probably heard from your doctor. Number one, you don't need a gallbladder. You might have been told it's no big deal if you lose your gallbladder. But think of the gallbladder as a storage unit for bile salts, which help break down fats. Without it, digesting fats becomes more difficult. If you've had yours removed, supplementing with bile salts after meals could make all the difference. Number 2. Statins have minimal side effects. Statins are often presented as a harmless drug, but the truth is, they can lead to significant muscle problems, increase your risk for type 2 diabetes and even damage your liver. Some doctors go as far as recommending them to everyone over 40, whether you have cholesterol issues or not. Yet cholesterol is crucial for producing hormones like testosterone, estrogen, and cortisol. It's also vital for your cell membranes, which span an area the size of 90 acres in your body. So instead of blocking cholesterol, shouldn't you be addressing what's really raising it? Number 3. Hypertension is due to too much salt. You've probably heard that too much salt causes high blood pressure. But could the real issue be a lack of potassium? Increasing your potassium intake can help your body manage sodium better and improve your blood pressure by relaxing your arteries. Some people even find that a small amount of salt before bed improves sleep by lowering cortisol. Number 4. Too much vitamin D is toxic. Doctors may tell you to take a meager 600 to 800 IU of vitamin D, but did you know that spending just 40 minutes in the sun gives you 20,000 IU? If being in the sun doesn't lead to toxicity, why would a 10,000 IU supplement? Vitamin D is vital, and most recommendations are far too low to make a difference. Number 5. Red meat causes cancer and heart disease. Have you been warned to cut out red meat to avoid colon cancer or heart disease? The reality is that grass-fed red meat is one of the most nutrient-dense foods you can eat, packed with essential B vitamins, iron and creatine to support your muscles and brain. Yet the healthcare system lumps it together with processed meats, skewing the narrative. Number 6. Avoid saturated fats. You've likely been told that saturated fats are bad for you. However, it's the unsaturated fats, like those in seed oils which make up 30% of our diet, that are the real culprits. Junk foods contain little saturated fat. Instead, they're loaded with harmful carbohydrates and processed oils that drive inflammation. Number 7. Weight loss is the solution to your problems. Weight gain is often blamed for everything from high blood pressure to high cholesterol. But weight is a symptom, not the cause. The real issue lies with insulin resistance, caused by consuming too many refined carbs and sugars. Fix that, and the weight will follow naturally. Number 8. You should be eating more plant-based foods. Plant-based diets are often touted as healthier, but take a closer look at those plant-based meat alternatives. They're full of processed ingredients like soy protein isolates and hidden sugars. Isn't it better to eat whole natural foods like grass-fed meat and organic eggs? Number 9. Hypoglycemia is a complication of diabetes. Have you been told that low blood sugar or hypoglycemia is a dangerous side effect of diabetes? Instead of addressing the underlying cause, too much insulin, you're told to carry glucose pills or candy to treat low blood sugar. But wouldn't it make more sense to manage insulin levels through diet and medication adjustment? It's time to rethink what you've been told about your health. Nutrients, diet, and lifestyle changes play a bigger role than most doctors acknowledge. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, leave a comment below with your opinion, we love hearing from you.